What's up guys? Welcome to this series on reinforcement learning. We're first going to start out by introducing the absolute basics to build a solid ground for us to run. We'll then progress onto more advanced and sophisticated topics that integrate neural networks into reinforcement learning. We'll also be getting our hands dirty by implementing some super cool reinforcement learning projects in code. So without further ado, let's get to it. Reinforcement learning is an area of machine learning that focuses on how you, or how something, might act in an environment in order to maximize some given reward. Reinforcement learning algorithms study the behavior of subjects in such environments and learn to optimize that behavior. A commonly referred to domain that can illustrate the power of reinforcement learning is in game playing. I know you've had to come across all the posts and the news and the papers about games that are being played by AI, right? Take AlphaGo for example, DeepMind's artificially intelligent Go player that beat the world champion of Go. Even more recently, what's gotten a ton of hype is OpenAI's team of five neural networks, called OpenAI5, which defeated a team of top professionals in the very complex video game Dota 2. These human-defeating AIs are being run via reinforcement learning algorithms. So back to the description of reinforcement learning we mentioned earlier. We said that reinforcement learning focuses on how a given subject might take actions in an environment in order to maximize some reward. Using a game as an example of an environment, reinforcement learning is concerned with how the player of the game can take actions, like making a move in a certain direction, in order to maximize its reward, which in a game setting might be points. So what's going to be the approach to learn reinforcement learning in this series? Well, if you're anything like me and have tried to jump headfirst right into reinforcement learning, you may have gotten overwhelmed by all the confusing lingo, the unknown acronyms, and abundance of mathematical notation. I mean, we've got things like Markov decision processes, Q-learning, DQNs, Bellman equations, policy gradients, and not to mention a bunch of math everywhere that looks like this. Well, fear not. Lucky for us, we're going to tackle this beast of reinforcement learning together, step by step, in a super smooth and intuitive way. As we progress, you'll start to feel more comfortable and confident in your abilities to work with reinforcement learning. Adding this skill to your machine learning toolbox will prove to be immensely useful and valuable. Through this series, we'll get an exposure to and gain an understanding of the intuition, the math, and the coding involved with reinforcement learning. Some parts of the series will be purely intuitive, while others are going to be more mathematically involved, and then others are going to be more programmatically involved. We'll first focus more on the intuition and some of the math, and then we'll dive into coding reinforcement learning programs. Here's the syllabus for parts one and two of the series. We intend to add more parts and sections as the series progresses, so when this happens, we'll update the corresponding blog post for this video on deeplizzard.com, so be sure to take a peek back at that for updates every so often. We'll gain an introduction to reinforcement learning in part one of the series. We'll first start off by learning about Markov decision processes, then we'll progress to Q-learning, and then we'll build our first reinforcement learning project in code where we'll implement Q-learning with pure Python to play a game. Part two of the series is where we'll focus on deep reinforcement learning. Here we'll learn about deep Q networks, and then in our second code project, we'll implement our very own deep Q network with PyTorch that we'll learn to play a game. All right, so if you're down to follow along with us, drop a comment and let us know. As you continue through the series, keep us posted with your progress, how your understanding is developing, and what questions you have. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence, and I'll see you in the next one. But there's a lot of big items on OpenAI 5 right now. SNY on the gyro with his drums. They've got a lot of good things. Ready to get the Fisher. Blitz, trying to see if he can maybe set up for the Requiem. They'll jump it again. Bolt instantly gets hexed oh, by no, the Lion. Blitz now getting focused. The Assassinate bringing him low. There's the Blast from the Lich to finish him off. Four dead on Team Human as OpenAI open the base up for a second set of racks and GG will be called 21 minutes in into this benchmark open AI will take game one